Hello everyone, welcome to the Bug Expert channel. In this video, we will talk about solutions for friends who encounter black screen problem in Pokemon Scarlet game in Yuzu emulator. This error, which is encountered, usually occurs because the game does not work on the emulator used, and your access to the game can be restricted. For this, we will try to solve the problem by telling you a few suggestions. Before we show you solutions, we will briefly talk about the forum. You can forward various errors you encounter to the community on the forum portal we have opened. For this, if your problem continues or if you encounter a different problem, you can get a quick response by sharing it on the forum portal. We care about your questions and suggestions. We can solve the problem by disabling the Hyper-V feature on our computer. In the Start Search screen, type Control Panel and open it. Click on the Programs option on the screen that opens. After this process, click Turn Windows Features on or off and disable Hyper-V if it is enabled. After this process, let's disable the features I show on the screen and save it. After the save process is complete, you can restart the computer and check if the problem persists. If this is not the solution for you, we can turn off the Hyper-V plugin with the help of command prompt, type CMD in the start search screen and run as administrator. Paste the code in the article into the new command prompt that opens and press enter. After the process is complete, restart the computer and check if the problem persists. It says that users never encounter such an error again by disabling memory integrity. We can find a solution to the problem by following this suggestion. In the start search screen, type kernel isolation and open it. Turn off the memory integrity option on the screen that opens. After performing this operation, restart your computer and check if the problem persists. He states that users have fixed the problem by editing the compatibility of the Yuzu application. We can find a solution to the problem by following this suggestion. Right click on the Yuzu application to access the properties menu. In the new window that opens, click on the compatibility option. After this process, enable disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator and click apply. After performing the process, you can check if the problem persists by running the application. You can eliminate the problem by editing the graphics API setting in the Yuzu application. Reddit users state that they did not encounter such a problem after performing the Vulkan setting. For this, run the Yuzu program, click on the emulation option on the upper left and select the configure option. Click graphics in the new window that opens. After this process, change the API option to Vulkan. If previously selected as Vulkan option, set it to OpenGL and save. After completing the processes, you can check if the issue still persists. Some Reddit users state that they did not encounter such an error after downloading the Ryujinx application and running the game. We can check if the problem persists by following this suggestion. To download the Ryujinx application, you can download it by clicking the link in the article. After completing the installation process, you can check if the problem persists. If you are encountering such an error in the Ryujinx application, we can solve the problem by enabling the expand RAM size to 6GB option. Run the Ryujinx application. Click on options in the application and select settings. Click on the graphics option in the new window that opens and change the graphics backend option to Vulkan. After this process, select the system option and select the expand RAM size to 6GB option and click the apply button to save. After the process is complete, you can check if the issue still persists. Yes, in this video we have provided information on how to fix the Pokemon Scarlet Black screen error encountered on Yuzu emulator. If you are encountering various errors, you can reach the community with your questions by accessing the forum portal we have opened. By supporting us, we can expand our community. Thank you.